hey guys welcome 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 back to all my new subscribers you are gonna absolutely love it here to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for tuning in again guys this recipe here is the perfect thing to meal prep you can have it hot or cold you can have it for lunch or dinner it works well by itself or paired with any sort of meat or fish and for any of my salad lovers out there this is such a lovely thing to pair with a salad with some chickpeas with some lentils whatever you fancy i'm gonna now go ahead and cut up all my veg that make up my roasted vegetables so there you can see me going ahead and chopping up my red bell peppers followed by my red onions just a little side note there is no particular sizing for your veg you can have chunky veg because i know sometimes people like to do that but for me I like my veg to be just a bit on the smaller side as you can see and I'm gonna go ahead and cut up all my veg on the same chopping board just so you can see all the vegetables that I used in one go next I'm gonna go ahead and cut up these lovely sweet tomatoes I will put the type of tomato it is in the description box because I cannot pronounce it but fun fact I'm not really a huge fan of tomatoes however I do like me a cooked tomato in something in a sauce whatever i do love a cooked tomato but when it's not cooked for me it's not giving so you know i like a blt but i don't really like the tomatoes and it is really weird like it doesn't even make sense guys but anyways moving on <laughs> then i'm gonna go ahead and de-seed this red chili give that a fine chop and that's just for some extra color and some extra flavor Quick side note, all I did was take the skin off the garlic and so I'm going to leave them whole to cook. And last but not least, we are going to add a few pieces of rosemary. I absolutely love rosemary, like rosemary has become one of my signature herbs to use. And that is it guys, look how amazing that looks. Now we're going to go ahead and spray some olive oil on a oven proof glass dish. You can drizzle some oil but I only had the spray can so that's why I am spraying it on. And also it's a healthier option because you end up using less so that's what I'm going to tell myself at least. <laughs> so now I'm just going to go ahead and put all my veg into that glass dish and then I'm going to put half of the red chilli in. You can put the whole thing in but I want to use the rest as a garnish so I'm just gonna go ahead and put half of it on I'm now gonna go ahead and add all of my seasonings I add one teaspoon of sea salt one teaspoon of smoked paprika half a teaspoon of coarse black pepper and also guys super important to use smoked paprika not that sweet stuff smoked paprika I'm telling you it's a game changer we're gonna go ahead and mix that all together and then add our dried rosemary on top and then i like to spray a little bit more olive oil didn't capture that part but that's what i did and then it should look something as gorgeous as this this is gonna then go into the oven at 180 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes and then it's gonna come out looking something like this as you can see it looks absolutely amazing you can see the juices of all of the tomatoes and oh guys it's absolutely gorgeous we're then gonna mix our roasted garlics in to all of that flavorful oniony red peppery mixture i'm now gonna go ahead and quickly do my chicken stock so i used two chicken stock cubes and i initially added two cups of boiling hot water and I gave that a really good whisk I'm now gonna go in with two cups of couscous well I thought it was gonna be two cups but I only had like one and three quarter cup of couscous so because of that I slightly had to change and modify the recipe a little bit but nothing much um, I'm then gonna go ahead and mix my couscous into those roasted vegetables and I'm going to make sure I mix that really, really well because I want all the couscous to get all of that flavour before I then go and add my chicken stock water. The trick is to make sure the couscous to water ratio is identical. So I put a little bit less of the boiling hot water in. So for example, if you put two cups of water, it needs to be two cups of couscous. So similarly, I had one and three quarter cup of couscous, so I put about one and three quarters of water. 
I'm then going to go ahead and give that a really good mix. As you can see, it looks gorgeous and it's not even done yet, guys. I then go ahead and add a little bit more smoked paprika. Not only because I love smoked paprika so much, but because it gives it such a good smoky taste and it gives it such a good colour. I'm going to go ahead and mix that in quickly, cover it up for 10 minutes. It should look something like this. We are then going to go ahead and give this a quick fluff up. And guys, look how gorgeous it looks. This smells divine. And I'm going to go ahead and add some Maggie liquid seasoning just because I want to. That is completely optional. Also, lemon squeeze is optional as well. But I think the lemon squeeze gives it a nice extra pizzazz. We are going to go ahead and plate up our food. That is our finished result for our couscous. I am going to pair this couscous with some sticky sesame chicken. This recipe will also be on my channel super, super soon. So watch out for it. It was absolutely delicious with this couscous. Oh, this was amazing, guys. It was so, so good. I enjoyed it thoroughly. And because I'm trying to be healthy or whatever, I added some broccoli, which I quickly steamed. I just wanted to big up my subscribers one time real quick. We have finally reached 300. We are on the road to 400 subscribers. I am so thankful, guys. You will not understand. As always, nobody do it better than she is, that All right. Tell a friend to tell a friend because I promise you they are going to love it here as much as you do. Until the next video, bye.